Yes, high surveillance. Very high. They can even surveil you when you're wearing a mic, a, a mask, excuse me. They can still figure out who you are. It's amazing. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world really works. And it's definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. I told you at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter of 2022, we was going to have an event that was going to bring us down. And then also in the fourth quarter, we would have an event that would bring us down. That's exactly what happened. And now I'm going to tell you, in the first quarter, we're going to have an event that's going to bring us down in 2023. And then also in the fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, guys, the markets are still going to be pumping and dumping until they get ready to pull the full rug. But I'll let you know when that's about to happen. Now, also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to get re-educated. And also, much love to those who've donated to the Cash Shop and Patreon. And in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. Also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos in the Patreon. Of course, you have to do your own research. But this next bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure that you have the cryptos that have utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and cryptos flat. And we have the stock market pulling back. But guys, make sure you're looking at the actual indicators. We have the yield rates, of course, the 10 years at a 3.5. Also, we have the dollar pulling back. Like I stated, guys, at this time, we know we started to get that pump. I do see us having a slight pump just because looking at yield rates and the dollar. But going towards the middle of the month, I see us pulling back because we know the Fed is not done yet. And then, of course, guys, we have volume. We have tether. We have tether gold and tether euro on Hobie Global. And then also, guys, we have USDC. And we have Circle Terminates the SPAC deal. And guys, make sure you keep an eye on Circle because we know Circle is the chosen one when it comes to U.S. stable coins. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo still over $2 trillion. We know they're going to be raising rates on the 14th. Now, we know the Fed printed all this money in order to build the fourth industrial revolution. 20% of all money in existence and one year to destroy the United States World Reserve currency in order to bring in this digital transformation. And then we have China, which is going to have the new World Reserve currency and the digital yuan 
right along with the digital economy, which is the Belt and Road. But now, guys, we see that lockdowns are starting to get relief because China is ready to flip the switch for the fourth industrial revolution. The whole point of the lockdowns, guys, we know is an experiment for the surveillance, for the technology, so therefore it can be moved globally. And I'm going to get into that more on this channel and then also on the stock channel. But China and the emerging markets are about to rise from poverty and go into the middle class. And the United States is going to be behind. And we know the NWO caused the problem. Wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. And the people are going to beg to have what the emerging markets have. They want that free money. We know how the NWO dangles that carrot. They're going to airdrop that free money, but they're going to be able to tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy. And you have three to six months to spend it, or poof, it's gone. And we know the C word was nothing but a project, a test, to bring in the fourth industrial revolution. But while China is coming out of the middle class, we're going to have America going into poverty. And like I stated, it's set up. So then therefore, the people are begging the government for what they already have. They already have the solution. But we're going to have mass layoffs in America over the next year, year and a half, because they have to bring the American people to their knees in order for the masses to accept the robots, algorithms, and drones taking over the economy, paying each other with crypto, and the sheep going inside the metaverse. And guys, over this next year and a half, two years, it's all about building. And while the NWO is building, we know the masses have to stay distracted. And we have plenty of distractions out there. And don't forget, guys, right now we have the first African conference when it comes to crypto. And you heard that right. Guys, the emerging markets are about to rise. Now, don't forget about Grayscale at about $15.3 billion. And guys, well, the only thing that can save Grayscale right now is a Bitcoin ETF. And what's good about that is we know that regulation is coming. And we know once we get regulation, we're definitely going to get a Bitcoin ETF. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Pakistan has launched new laws to expedite CBDC launch by 2025. And guys, you know my favorite saying, I don't care what country you go to, they have plans for the digital transformation. That means that this is a global orchestrated plan. And who controls the global plans? That's right, the NWO. Now we have one inch tokens worth over 100 million set to be unlocked by December 30th. Now, guys, we have the bank man doesn't want to testify in front of Congress. I think it's December 13th. And I was going to wait to see whether he was going to appear in front of Congress because if they didn't arrest him right then and there, people who have been convicted of white collar crimes inside of crypto should definitely be let go because this whole story is starting to become ridiculous. Whatever think tank created this, they definitely need to be fired. Whoever wrote this script up definitely needs to be fired because I've been studying the NWO for a long time and I've never seen them do something like this. This is ridiculous. Now we have the U.S. Senator Ted Cruz wants Texas to be the crypto oasis. And guys, we're starting to see all the politicians telling us how great the technology behind crypto and blockchain is and how it's going to change the world. So after bashing it for 10 years, now it's time to bring it to light because we know the real use cases are about to be shown. Now we have Coca-Cola teams up with Crypto.com releases FIFA World Cup NFTs based on a heat map from matches. And guys, we know this is all about adoption. If they see it, they will believe it. And we know NFTs are nothing but digital IDs. And this is how they're going to get the millennials and Generation Z inside the metaverse. And they're going to be having fun going in. And we know all about gaming. And then lastly, guys, we have Ripple Files final submission against the SEC as landmark case nears end. And guys, we know Ripple, Ripple's XRP is all about the emerging markets and the Middle East. And we know that's where Ripple's foundation is at. And the fourth industrial revolution is going to start in the East where the sun rises. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows 
when it comes to the New World Order. It's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, Noodle Cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, and so I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread it everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks to see where the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Go to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.